Hi everyone, welcome to your yes or no reading. Thanks for being here with me and uh, sorry I did not upload in the last couple of days. It was I was really sick and you can actually hear my voice. But I was really eager to do this reading. I had a feeling to do this and uh, here we are. So bear with me with my voice but uh, I know getting better and hopefully recording many other videos for you. Thanks to all the new subscribers and for taking your time to listen to me and hopefully you're getting some insights some blessings from here. And that's all my intention is that you're going to have some blessings and you're going to have some ways for you to uh, be guided to your decisions, your life. And this is one of them that I actually was really um, called to do it. So this is going to be uh, yes or no reading. So it's just two piles because one is going to be yes, one is going to be no. And uh, I really want you to uh, concentrate, think first of all of what you want in your life. You know, ask your question in your mind there, in your heart, what you actually want to do at the moment. Is there a decision that you need to take? Is it a job or um, is it family? Is it what do you need to do at the moment? Is school? Whatever it is ask your question, choose one of them, and that will be uh, your answer. There will be um, not just one card, yes or no, okay? There will be um, yes or no, and there will be some advice to you. So there's actually six cards in each pile here. So there will be some advice to you, and I hope you enjoy this reading. So concentrating one of the angels, beautiful angels here, go with your gut feeling and your first intuition, okay? And then that will be the one for you. So, um, angel number one and angel number two. Okay. If you chose angel number one, okay, so this is your answer. I'll put him here so he's next to us. This is your pile. Your first card is positive future. Okay. So, I will open all the cards for you. The second card is the self-worth. So I'll just hold on to these two cards first. So what I wanted to say is your answer is yes. Okay, so you have a positive future and you have self-worth, which means what you want, what you ask for, your answer is yes. You, you will have a positive future with this. Okay, so go ahead. You are on the right path. This is the divine timing for you. You are on the right direction. Yes, go ahead. That will be positive future for you if you choose this. If you want to, if you really want this. So your answer is yes. Why? Because it's time for you to do something for yourself. You need to think of your self worth. Okay. You deserve this. You deserve this positive future. It's there for you. You just needed to reach out just act on it your answer is yes go ahead you have the angels the the higher powers god whatever you want to call they are on your side okay so this is a positive positive future for you so your answer is yes and there is another beautiful card here for you okay so there is a stream of love supporting my dreams another one that is just showing you that you have support okay whether you have support or not from the people around you and uh, wh whoever is uh, involved with the situation you have the higher powers connected and uh, guiding and supporting your dreams so be certain that your positive future is there right and just so you know i prayed on those cards okay to make sure the right ones would come with the with the right information for you and this is a positive positive one there is a stream of love supporting my dreams so your dreams are supported you deserve them there will be a positive future your answer is a really loud loud yes okay so you should be happy about this answer and it doesn't mean like a, a no is a bad thing no sometimes is, is a good thing as well so but in this case it's a yes you should be certain that if you didn't make the decision yet, if you're just waiting for a next step, you're just so close. You just needed to reach out. So go ahead. It's there for you. Yes. 
Then you have another card here, another beautiful card, right? The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. There you go. In case you were thinking, uh, I'm not sure yet, how do I reach it? How do I get there? Just realign with love. Think of what else is missing there. Is it some positive affirmations? Is it a, a belief that is actually going to work out for you? Put your mind in, into, the, into a love direction. You know that uh, you have all the protection, all the, the guides there for you. The higher powers are on your side. So align with them. Okay? Realign with love. And clear directions will be, will be there for you. So if you're missing, maybe a clear direction is still for your next step. Which even, even though you know it's going to be positive, maybe you don't know exactly what to do with this next step. Just pray, meditate, re, you know, repeat some affirmations, align with the higher powers, realign with love, and you will know exactly what to do. So this is, is mainly like a continuation of a flow. Even, like I said, a positive future is there for you. You deserve the, your dreams to come true. But if you don't know exactly how to take that next step, just meditate, just pray, just align with love and there will be clear, clear directions for you and you'll know this will make all so much sense, right? We do have another card here, which I got from the tarot card as well, which is the Empress. So this is very clear. The Empress is like a birth, rebirth new things new fortune good good things coming to your future in case you don't know the tarot cards this means positive positive card like um, new new beginnings beautiful things coming to you okay so it's just another affirmation that you're in the right direction this is a astounding yes so and this here we have the beautiful uh, Archangel and, um, and the gemstone cards, which I love because they have like two messages here for you. One is the message, one is the affirmation. So the first one here is saying for you, are you ready to transform your life? Through your spiritual connection with the divine, you can receive intuitive insight, insights to help you in your daily life. You have the ability to transform your reality using the spiritual guidance you receive. Again, it's, it's asking you, connect with the higher powers and then you will be guided in case you don't know what will be the next steps that you need to take for this positive future. Even though you already know it's positive, great. You don't know the steps, align with the higher powers, okay? You have the, the way, you have the divine uh, guiding you. You will you'll be able to listen to your intuition and you will have the feeling, the gut feeling you will know you're on the right path. So every day, ask, pray, affirmations. You do if you if you need for your next steps. Just you will you will be guided and you you have the ability to transform your life. All right. So and in the other side here we have the Archangel Zadikiel, and there is an affirmation for you to repeat. All right. So I create my reality. I can change my reality. It's easy for me to transform and transmute challenging situations. I use my intuition and follow my hunches. I am aligned with the higher wisdom. I pay attention to my dreams and easily interpret them. Again, beautiful card here, guys. For you to repeat, to pray, aff affirmation, however you want to call, this is for you. In case, like I said, you don't know exactly, not yet, what's the next step? You know is a positive future. This is a yes card, and this is this is showing you that you can create this reality. Okay, your dreams are supported. You are worthy. You 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 just need to align with love. Okay, this is is just the future is their positive future for you. You can create. You can change your reality. So just align align with the higher powers, and the answers your feelings, you'll be guided, it will be there for you.
So guys, hope you're happy with this. Those are your cards here. Uh, stone, yes, definitely a yes for you. Okay. And um, hope you're happy with that. And I'm going to move on to the next group. Thank you. Hi, group number two. If you chose the second angel, okay, this is your answer. If you can it does. And uh, your first card here is change. Okay, so I will give you another card here as well. I'll just open two cards first. And this is listen to your heart. Okay, guys, your answer is no, right? What um, I've been guided to, to tell you is that you would need to change at the moment. Maybe it's change your mind regarding your, uh, your question. Maybe it's just changing your attitude regarding this and to listen to your heart. Because if you listen to your heart, you actually will know this is not the right thing for you today. Not at the moment at least. So there will need to be some changes. And if you actually stop a little bit and listen to your intuition, your gut feeling, listen to your heart, what you've been guided to do. Can you actually think, maybe already know this is not the best thing for you, at least not now. Okay, so your answer for the moment is no. All right. And we do have another card here for you. Okay, the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So this is very clear, right guys? This is just telling you, don't pray for something specific, what, what you want at the moment. The answer is no. So don't pray for only what you, you think you want, you think you need. You know, the key to prayer is forget what I think I need. So what do you pray for then? If it's not for something you need, right? Well, you pray for what is the best thing to happen to you, for you to grow, for your higher purpose, for you to find what you really want to do in your life. Don't pray for something you think you, you need. Maybe we are looking into material things. Or maybe we are looking into uh, just someone, uh, just that one person will save your life, will do everything for you, is, is the one for you. Don't pray for that. Don't pray, I want that person. I want that job. Pray like, I want the best job that will bring the best out of me. I will enjoy working. I will enjoy my everyday in that place or doing what I like. Uh, pray that you get the the one, you get the person that will make you happy. Not that specific person, but that the person that will make you happy. Not something something specific that you you think you need, but you be open, open for changes, right? Listen to your heart. Right now, that one question you ask, the answer is no, and there is a reason, right? We do have another card here. Obstacles are the tours to the right direction. Very, very clear, guys. Okay, I'll show you here. Very clear that this, this obstacle, this, this no right now, doesn't mean it's, it's a bad thing. Because no many, many times can be very good. Only when we are ahead and we look back, we actually think, wow, that was the best thing for me. I'm so happy that I didn't go to that direction, right? Because an obstacle, a no right now, means you're being guided to the right direction, which is where you're actually supposed to be, which is where your heart will be happy. Okay, so right now, a no is not a bad thing. Maybe it's not what you want to hear right now, but it's what you need to hear right now. And it's actually a way, a detour in the right direction. That's very, very powerful when you think that you're actually going to be happy ahead if you say no to this, you know, to this question you have. 
So it really depends how you take it. Don't take it in a negative way, not at all. Many times no is the best thing that have happened to us and we only realize when we are way ahead. So right now, maybe it's not what you wanted, but it's what you need, okay? I, I actually have a, a, a tarot card here as well, which is the Hanged Man. If you know tarot cards, this here actually means take some time, take time out. You know, he is hanging here in this, in this tree because he wants to take the time out. He could untie himself. He's here happily. You see, he's having some, some clarity, some time to think and being illuminated, being guided by the higher powers. So that's what you need at the moment. The answer is no for now, but like take your time. Take some time out, meditate, ask the higher powers the direction. What will actually be the best thing for you in your life? Take that time out. Wait a little bit. You know, you will be able to untie yourself from this tree at some point and make your decision. And that will be good. The, the right timing will come, but it's not, not yet. And why? Because that's a good thing. You're going to be guided to the right direction, to, the, to your right path. That is the best thing. You're actually avoiding, you know, any issues at the moment when you say no. Right, and we do have one last card, which is the one I like very much because you have two sides here with the Archangel and the Gemstones card. The first one is, are you spiraling round and round? Are you trying to find answers? It is time to stop, go within, and allow yourself to step into the deep recesses of your mind and emotions in order to uncover the truth. Take time for reflection beside the ocean or a body of water very very clear here guys it's time to stop and go within which means take your time take time for yourself you know sometimes we, we think oh I don't have time everybody has the same amount of hours every day okay so even if it's just five ten minutes meditation is very powerful many times I don't need that much time just need a little bit of time for yourself. And then you will find the answers in your heart. Again, listen to your heart. You will find the, the right answers. Because maybe you say no and you worry that you don't know what you're going to do then if you say no to this. Don't worry. Don't worry, okay? You have the higher powers. You have them guiding you. Just take your time to listen to your heart. Take your time to meditate, pray, affirmations, whatever you want to call it. What you need at the moment is take time, take time, and you're going to be illuminated, going to be guided. You're going to have the higher powers on your side, giving you directions. Okay, so don't worry that you're going to say no to this. It's actually going to be the best thing you can do because you're going to be illuminated, going to the right directions. Okay, taking time for yourself, taking time to find that what really is in your heart, what is the best thing for you. Okay, and we have the other side of this card, All right, with the prayer, the affirmation, however you want to call. This is for uh, from Archangel Gabriel for you to aff do this affirmation, this prayer with him. I know the truth in the center of myself. All the answers. Light within, ancient knowledge and wisdom are available to me. I recall all my dreams when I awaken and use them as tools to help guide me in my waking life. Okay, guys, an, a lovely affirmation prayer here for you to again uh, uh, ask for that uh, truth inside yourself. Okay, to listen to your heart one more time, it's here for you. So the affirmation is, I know the truth. So maybe inside yourself, you know, in your heart of hearts, you already know that the answer was no. But even if you are not sure, take time for yourself. You will, you will be happy with this no for the moment. And, um, 
and you will be guided and you're going to have the wisdom, the knowledge, you know, to, to actually choose the right things. What are your, your dreams? Ask for directions to your dreams. Try to remember your dreams. Have, an, have a some small paper or note, uh, notebook right next to your bed to write your books, uh, sorry, to write your dreams. The moment you wake up, write them. And then read through them. Are you being guided through, through your dreams? What do you really want? How happy are you when you wake up from this dream? This could be directions from the divine, from the higher powers, showing you what you're going to be really happy doing. So it's, it's a no, but it's a positive thing. So whether it was if, if the yes or no, I find them as positive no matter what. Maybe no is not what you wanted, but it no is actually the best thing you can hear at the moment. Right? So take these, use these affirmations, and uh, remember, no is not a bad thing. It could be not yet, or it could be not now. But the moment is no. Because you're going to be guided. You know, it, this is just a, an obstacle. It's a detour to the right direction. It's much better to look back and think, oh, I didn't do it, but now I'm in a, in a better place. Then you have to go through all the pain and all the troubles if you have saying yes. Okay, so this is something you can avoid. The answer is no, because you, it's for you to avoid this and go to your right direction. So think that as a po take that as a really really positive thing. You're being guided to your right direction by saying no. Okay. So this is it. Group number two with your beautiful angel here. Group number two. If you came to the end, thanks very much for your time, and I hope you were able to get the direction you needed at this time. Okay. So thank you for your time, and have a blessed day. Bye bye.